Hey everyone, I'm Cosmo, welcome to another Trailmakers video and today I want to try prototyping another type of wheel. So in my last scrap mechanic video, I actually made the Mechanum wheel, which is basically a wheel that has a bunch of other little wheels around its circumference, which are angled 45 degrees with respect to the face plane of the wheel. Now the reason for this kind of design is to add maneuverability to a vehicle, basically to be able to maneuver on the spot, be able to strafe, go diagonally without actually having to turn the vehicle around. This is also a very handy concept for apparently moving crates around in large industrial shipping scenarios, so that's kind of cool. But that is not why we're here today. Today I want to try another type of wheel that basically allows you to do kind of the same thing, uh, but it's a little bit more, I guess, complex to execute in real life. Now, luckily we're in the video game, so this should be a little bit easier. <laughs> now that wheel, guys, is the ball wheel, or I guess the omni wheel as it is also sometimes called. Um, I'm really excited to give this a go. I want to build like an off-road vehicle uh, with maybe six of these and some suspension and just kind of see how it does. Uh, the biggest thing is maneuverability, right? So we're gonna have to add uh, some extra controls to this thing to hopefully be able to strafe and uh, do other cool things. Now I know this is going to come up in the comments guys, so I just wanted to clarify in this video I just want to try to build something with ball wheels, basically just wheels shaped like balls. It would be really cool to build an actual omni wheel mechanism in the future video, but for now I just had this idea and I wanted to give it a try. Now once again I'm not a logic god like some of my friends are, but I will do my best with the mechanical aspect of it and uh, hopefully I can get it to work as intended. So without further ado, let's get right into it guys. Actually, let's go build somewhere else. I always build on this thing. Now for the actual ball wheel, I'm going to be using the diving bell, guys. I mean, this is perfect. This has all the connection points that I need. I think this is going to work. It's a little bit silly. It's uh, it's not really using the part as intended, but hopefully it will allow me to achieve the effect that I want to achieve. So I guess we'll see. I really wish these servos were lower profile because I want to stack up two of them in order to have more function, but it's it's just so bulky. <laughs> it's so bulky. I actually ended up making the whole wheel uh, system a little more low profile. It was a little bit too tall before. I don't know if I like the suspension there as well, but really there's no other place to put it. So we'll just have to deal with it if we want suspension. There wouldn't really be a point of putting suspension on the axle of the ball wheel here simply because uh, we would just bottom out on this whole uh, structure here anyway. So this is the only place for it. It's actually looking pretty cool guys. I'm getting excited about this.
Alrighty guys, check out this absolute monster. I am so, so happy with it. I think the rear suspension might be a little bit too stiff actually. I'm just gonna quickly switch that up. Perfect, that should be a little bit better. I think it's still a little bit front happy, but that's okay. Well, what can I say guys? This was a lot of fun to build and I'm really excited to try this thing out. I decided to put like a magnet hitch on the rear or I guess a tractor beam hitch on the rear uh, simply because I want to see if I can pick up barrels and put them in the pickup portion of my truck here. The front is supposed to look like an old military truck I suppose. I tried to make it all like retro looking like as if a retro truck was taken and then converted to this uh, like cyber monstrosity. I'm calling this the Book 1, uh, not to be confused with the Russian book missiles. Uh, Book short for Bukashka, uh, which means bug, because this thing just kind of reminds me of a bug. And while on the subject of Russia, <laughs> but yeah, guys, I think this thing turned out pretty awesome. I try to go a little hard on the details. This thing is almost max complexity. I've got some diamond plate, you know, skid plates and whatnot. Got my trusty old dog on the front. I love putting that thing in all my creations. It's like a Rolls Royce, except it's like a Cosmo Royce. <laughs> I also have some stuff in the back here, just like a first aid container, a supplies container, and a fuel tank, which has a hole in it. So, luckily this thing is powered by, like, electric engines and stuff. <laughs> I do have exhausts, uh, because, I don't know, we have a diesel generator. I don't know, guys, use your imagination, okay? <laughs> but, uh, yeah, let's try this thing out, guys. Unfortunately, uh, it has limited function right now because I think I need extra servos in order to do what I want to do, which is, you know, do stuff like strafing. Um, currently, if I turn all these 90 degrees, the wheels are actually spinning in the opposite directions. Uh, so it's a little bit weird, but also you can get into any of the wheels. You know, this is a seven seater vehicle. I mean, you can also load people up into the back, but seats seven comfortably. <laughs> and the nice thing is if I ever turn this thing into an amphibious vehicle, well, I can uh, I can always just chill in one of these diving bells in the wheels and uh, life is good. See, just hang out. Life is good. <laughs> Might be kind of nauseous for the six passengers, though. <laughs> Alrighty, guys, let's actually see how this thing drives. I am really, really excited. Um, hopefully this will do well. Look at that. Look at that. The suspension doing its thing. Oh, man. Now, as you can see, I currently have them turning 90 degrees, which will make me, I guess, uh, rotate on one spot. Now, the center wheels, I only made them rotate 5 degrees uh, because, while well, they weren't really doing a whole lot during turning anyway. Uh, but if we mess around with these angles, we can actually get this thing to work pretty darn well and be quite maneuverable. Um, as you can see, it, it basically turns on the spot, which is wonderful. Now, if I give steering back to these guys right here, and uh, we start driving around, and then we say we want to go sideways, well, we can't, you know, because uh, the wheels are actually rotating in opposite directions. So we're going to have to fix that up. Actually, it's really only the center ones. But see, that's the thing, guys, is I can't individually control servos on the go. Uh, so it's kind of like whatever they're set to is what I can do for that period of time. I actually even tried using like pistons that extend and trigger sensors that uh, give different signals to servos. But the reality of it is, is that the servos still have preset settings uh, that I can't modify on the go. But that's okay, because it's part of the challenge. <laughs> the one thing that I actually... Wait, are they even turning in the right direction first? First of all, kind of, I guess, kind of. Let's put them in the opposite direction, and I will show you what happens when I uh, actually lock the position of these servos. It it makes it a lot easier to drive, in my opinion. You have to center the steering out yourself, but uh, that's okay. So hold position on all of these guys. And uh, now if we get into this thing and we do this, we actually lock our steering. Now I don't like how it's steering. It actually steered better when these guys were working with the front wheels. So let's do that again. There you go. Just It just turns much better, I think, because there's more weight on the front. So it makes sense. There you go, guys. Look at it. And the suspension still doing its thing, just absolutely wonderful. I think this thing even does like nose wheelies, or at least used to. Oh, look at that. That's some monster jam stuff right here, guys. <laughs> my, uh, I'm gonna tuck my tail in here. There we go. <laughs> it almost looks like a dog. But yeah, if I turn sideways, as you can see, not a whole lot of fun stuff happens like it should. But uh, let's take this thing up a hill before we modify it more. Also, I think this is the fastest that it can go because the, yep, the servos that I'm using can only go up to a speed of 10. So that's where we're at, guys. But I mean, this is a... 
like a rescue, like a search and rescue vehicle, you know, so it doesn't need to be super fast, just needs to, uh, just needs to work well. Alright, let's see if we can get up this hill. I have my doubts. I have my doubts. Oh boy, do we need to add thruster assist? Do we need thruster assist now? <laughs> we might. See, the problem with using diving bells is that, well, there's not a whole lot of traction. Nevertheless, this is so cool. Oh man, come on, come on, <laughs> come on, you can do it, buddy! You can do it! You can do it! Oh no, oh no! <laughs> okay, well, I don't think you can do it. Let's go try picking up a barrel. I want to try picking up a barrel with this thing. And then maybe I'll add some extra servos so we can actually strafe this guy. That'd be really cool. I also had to elongate it because I realized I made the hubs of the wheels touch. And, uh, well, they're still touching, but at least they're not interfering. Honestly, guys, like, this might even... This this almost might be better with, like, either eight or just four wheels. I'm gonna save this. Ball wheel truck. Perfect. Creative name. Let's delete this stuff right here. And let's hop back into this thing. That actually looks kind of cool. See? It just turns way better. It literally turns on the spot when it only has four. And I actually kind of like the look of that. I would maybe move the rear balls, rear ball wheels, it, so it sounds so weird saying rear balls, um, a little bit forward, but other than that, I mean, I almost like this more, guys. I almost like this more. It just seems to make a whole lot more sense. So now I'm thinking maybe I should do like four in the back and four in the front, but you know what? Let's just play around with this thing. I've done enough building. Let's, uh, let's delete these just for the sake of not having it there and looking like something's missing. Uh, we can add more underglow. Can never have too much underglow. Actually, you definitely can, but underglow is cool. Should I move those a bit? I'm gonna move those a bit. Alrighty, there we go, guys. The only weird thing now, and it didn't look as weird when I had the two uh, sets of uh, ball wheels in the bag, but it looks weird now. I don't have any kind of wheel well like I have in the front, you know? <laughs> but that's okay. Uh, I don't want to be in the ball. I actually want to be in the in the big boy seat. Perfect. This just maneuvers so much better on the spot, right? Oh, do I need to stiffen up the suspension a little bit? It's possible that I need to do that. Maybe, maybe. We'll see how this thing fares. Let's, uh, let's back it into this. Perfect. Oh boy. <laughs> no, it doesn't reach far enough. Oh, I think I need to extend my whip here. There you go. What could go wrong, right? <laughs> I don't know. Ooh, I might need a piston on the end there. Maybe a piston on the end there would actually help better than more, more pivoting. Man, I hate how my speech slows down when I'm trying to build something and talk at the same time. It's so bad. <laughs> Alrighty. Now if we get into our truck and we do this, and then we do this, that might actually work. That might actually work. Although those pistons are hecka slow, man. Oh, I love the turning on the spot, man. It's just, it's so cool. Perfect. Drop it in the back. Drop it in the back. Oh, so close. Oh, no, we got it. Well, we kind of got it. It didn't exactly land how I wanted it to, but maybe I can reposition it. I do like how, uh, how nimble that arm is, though. Drop it in. Drop it in. Nice. Look at that. Cargo truck. <laughs> love it. Absolutely love it. Cool, well, let's, I guess let's drive this thing somewhere. Let's drop it off. I hear the soccer field needs a, needs a big barrel delivery. This is actually really fun to use. I kind of kind of want to use that at the high seas, to be honest with you guys. You know what? Instead of just randomly driving around here, let's quickly go to the high seas. Because the terrain there, like on the beach, is a little more, I guess, textured. So I'm curious to see how this thing is going to work there. Not a whole lot of real estate to drive around here, but hey. <laughs> I'm actually curious... It's definitely not gonna float. It's it's 100% not gonna float because there's absolutely zero flotation on this thing. Yep, that's what I thought. <laughs> Can it drive on the ground? Oh my gosh. Because I'm in a diving bell, it just doesn't care. But it also just has absolutely no grip. It's got like a random log stuck underneath me. <laughs> All right, sure. Can we make it out? A beast emerges from the water. It's dragging a log with it. For what purpose, we do not know. Oh, oh, there we go, there we go, there we go. Nice, throttled out of there, perfect. Oh man, good stuff, good. Oh boy, definitely slidey on hills, definitely slidey on hills. 
Um, if it's not spinning in that direction, it it, it it basically has zero traction in that direction. Oh, Jesus. Oh, no. <laughs> Guys, go to the high seas was an awful idea. I regret everything. <laughs> this direction seems more promising. It would be so, so, so cool to have grip. Devs, can we please get a ball wheel? Pretty please. <laughs> I love you guys long time. <laughs> also, having them on hold position is handy, but at the same time, uh, kind of annoying because you have to recenter it. That's all right. Come on. Come on. Come on. I feel like I had more traction when I had six of these things. It is cool watching the suspension work, but it's not cool watching my truck get absolutely destroyed. <laughs> okay, so high seas. Not a good place. <laughs> we need the wheels to be rubber, guys. They need to be rubberized. Good old Treasure Island. I actually really like how this truck turned out, guys. I think I'm going to maybe put some wheel wells on the back and, like, turn it back into a real truck. Uh, just for, like, maybe my, uh, my high seas uh, collecting of land artifacts. I don't know. I don't know. I feel like I've been using my other truck for a while now, my other campaign truck. So it's time to try something new. I just really wish... Oh, oh, wheelie monster. What an absolute unit. <laughs> See if we can do it again. Oh, no, we're doing so. Oh, there we go. <laughs> Not exactly what I wanted to do, though. Alrighty, guys, I want to try something else. I want to try an extra set of servos on this thing. It's going to make it taller. It's going to make it look kind of meh, in my opinion. But for the sake of functionality, let's just add a couple more servos here. Well, four to be exact. And, uh, and then we'll see if we can add a little bit more functionality to this thing. I really want to get it to strafe. That's my, that's basically my goal right now is to get it to strafe. <laughs> there we go, guys. <laughs> Check it out. So I've got two sets of servos on there. Oh man, this thing is so tall now. It actually doesn't look as goofy as I'd expected. It looks really cool, the suspension moving up and down as well. I really like that. But uh, if I press one, oh, that's, yeah, I should probably switch my toggles. I think the controls are good now. So imagine we're driving along, guys, life is good, and then all of a sudden, there's an obstacle in front of us. What do you do? Well, you can't brake. You don't have enough braking distance. No, you can't turn. So you strafe. You just go whoop. <laughs> and whoop. <laughs> that actually works out pretty, pretty cool, guys. Um, the only thing is obviously, maybe I should just switch my... I'm going to switch these just for now to be not, not to hold position. Not to hold position. A little goofy. And I almost wonder if these should be set to like 45 or maybe 60 degrees now. Probably 45 would be better. So now this is the maximum that I can turn. Perfect. And now if I go whoop, can I still like, yeah, see, I can kind of do like drift turns almost, but it's weird. <laughs> I can't, uh, I can't do my turning on the spot anymore. I mean, I can turn. It's just, uh, you know, it'll take a little longer. But I can still strafe, which is nice. So I actually think I will turn those back to a higher angle. It would be so nice to be able to adjust this stuff with like sensors or, uh, you know, some other method of control. Because the way I see it is even if you try to create a system where you have like, you know, several sensors uh, trying to differently control the servos, uh, the servos still have preset settings, guys, right? So it's just, it's, it's just going to be no bueno. All right, we can finally spin on the spot again. Life is good. Can we go straight? We can go straight, and if we really need to, well, we can strafe. Now, obviously, the suspension there kind of <laughs> turns us when we start strafing at speed. But, uh, you know, if we're going straight, and then we stop, and then we go, whoop, then we can strafe just fine. This thing would be great for mazes. <laughs> oh, man, I'm really happy with how this thing turned out. I'm actually really happy with how this thing turned out. And in retrospect, doing six wheels was cool visually. That's honestly the only reason that I did it. I was like, man, you know what looks cooler than four wheels? Six wheels. <laughs> and uh, that's how we ended up with that design. But uh, I guess it's either four or eight, basically like pairs of axles, right? You can't just have an odd number of axles. Well, quote unquote axles. I'm assuming this thing would just absolutely suck in the mud as well. <laughs> you know what, devs, if you're watching this, even if we can't get a ball wheel... Right. <laughs> even if we can't get a ball wheel, it'd be really cool to get a block that's like these uh, side panels here, the flat ones, but with like high grip, you know? 
so that you can place them, for example, on like the soles of a walker and get more grip that way. I'm not sure what that entails. I don't know if that's a lot of work or not, but uh, I think that would be really, really cool just to, uh, you know, just to add a little bit more options in terms of uh, building. This thing is actually doing pretty, pretty great in the mud flats, or I guess the mud hills. <laughs> I'm surprised with how well it's doing, considering like a car with regular wheels here would just be spinning its wheels nonstop. This thing is not losing traction at all. So funny how you can see my scarf in the rear wheel there because I'm not even in the cabin. <laughs> oh boy. Well guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. This was a really fun build for me. Uh, I mean, the main point was to demonstrate ball wheels, but it kind of turned into this really uh, cool exploration vehicle that I ended up building. But uh, if you guys did enjoy the video, definitely let me know in the comments below. If you guys have any other funky wheel ideas or any other ideas that you would like me to try out, I would be more than happy to, so put it in the comments down below. And if you guys did enjoy the video, click the like button down below. It helps the video be seen by other people. The algorithm does its magic. If you guys are not subscribed yet, subscribe for more awesome content. And I will see you in the next video. Bye! Whee! <laughs> I love this thing so much. It's so cool. Strafe! Aw, do a barrel roll! <laughs> okay, bye!